So in the last video we looked at how to change what is shown on our main display screen by hitting edit back, going to display on the fourth page and choosing here. But say you want to control some of the effects parameters like distortion, reverb, modulation. Well you could go here on your fourth page usually you'll start on a one on your fourth page go to display and switch to modulation hit edit back drum your guitar and then mess with your settings and then of course save once you have a setting you like but that's kind of time consuming so there's another and better way so let's hit edit back we'll change back to amp which is my personal favorite now we'll scroll the very first page and here we see we have our input which is our true Z setting volume, wah, FX1, distortion, mod, and whatnot. So here's distortion. Said we don't want the green JCR. We can change that using the knob to slit up. So say what we wanted was the white boost. The white boost is a new effect in the 11 rack expansion pack. We can also move where in the effects chain the distortion falls. We do that by hitting the move button which is SW2 here. We'll use a scroll knob to move this. Move this anywhere in the chain. Say we get down here and we forgot where it was. We can hit cancel and it'll move it right back. Click move again and we say we want it right after the mod. That's where we want it. Hit SW2 and it's there. Make sure to save if that's where you want to leave it. But you don't have to save yet because we still haven't really set our controls yet. So what we want to do is look right here where it says controls which points to the SW1 button. We'll click that. And we have our distortion highlighted. That takes us into this menu. We see our patch, letter, and number, and the name. And here we see DIST, which stands for distortion, which shows that this is our distortion effect. We can bypass it pressing SW1. We can also bypass it by pressing the distortion button. Does the same thing. And in here we can make our adjustments. So we change this. And you notice sometimes the knobs don't move. That's because I have my knob set to latch. So that's what we want. And we can either save now or we can edit back and edit back and get back to our main screen and save there. One thing to note that if you hit edit back again and you go back and you click your controls, you'll notice all the knobs are green. Now you may think the parameters reverted back, but they didn't. We still have the save button lit in red, meaning that we have changes need to be saved. So we're still alright here. But we'll go ahead and save just to be safe. Then we can hit edit back, continue editing our rig. Now we can set up the delay effect. So we'll hit either move if we want to move it or controls. Say we like it here, so we'll hit controls. And you'll see right here, this denotes that we have two pages. To get to the second page, you just use the scroll knob. There's our second page, and you can make your changes here. Scroll back here, make your changes here. Once you get them where you want, you can save, or you can go back and keep choosing more effects and changing the parameters, and then save the whole rig at once, but you should at least save after every few changes. Now there's actually a faster way to do this. Let's go up to the volume. We'll hit controls. And said we like this. Instead of hitting edit back and then choosing the wall, then choosing FX and choosing mod, we'll just go into the controls of the mod here. Make any changes we want to make and then simply use the scroll wheel to go to the next effect. There we are in the distortion, delay, and you can see that here. We have mod, distortion, delay, and then you just continue. So this effect has two pages, so it's first page, second page there. Now we're on our graphic EQ, you can see we're still on the same patch, FX2. Now here we're to the amp, which will give us the same controls 
as our main page since we have it set on AMP. And here you can get to the second page very easily instead of having to go all the way to the fourth page choosing AMP and then page two of two and then going back to the main screen. Controls page one, page two, bypass by Arado. Next we have the cab, we can change all of this stuff. Page two, we have our speaker breakup setting which is new in the 11 rack expansion pack. FX loop, second page of the reverb. Make all your settings. You can save right here, edit back, edit back, and you can save right here as well. So we'll save all our settings. Change the name of course. And now we have our complete rig set up and all saved just how we wanted. All done right from the display screen of the 11 rack. No need to go under Pro Tools and use the 11 rack window in Pro Tools. Although the window in Pro Tools is very well done and gives you a good graphical representation. So you have two great options with the display window or the 11 rack window in Pro Tools to set up and save rigs.